Hi, good morning. It's Jeff Thompson here and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel today. I thought today I would begin a series of um, daily devotions, Christian devotions, prepared or that are written in a little booklet here, which I have here, called Offbeat Responses to the Bible by Frank Hunting. Frank was a mentor of mine and uh, meant heaps to this family here because he guided us in the early stages of our being Christians. <clears throat> he, is, he is now gone to be with his Lord some years ago. Frank was a regular reader daily of my utmost for his highest by Oswald Chambers, which you'll see I mention on my blog quite often. And um, so he used to have a daily quiet time, which he was pushing to us all the time. We need as Christians to have a daily quiet time. And uh, you will find that in his little devotional books that he's got, he's got this one and he's got another one called Speaking Personally and he's got lots of Bible studies. It's my plan now as we progress through the rest of this year and during this time of the virus to present some of his Bible studies and also these daily devotions. And you will find that um, it's very, there's a similar flavour to the writings of Oswald Chambers as you listen to this. So without further ado, I'm going to start this first one today. I'll begin by reading the preface to this booklet. The highlight for any day in the life of any Christian is a time when they truly commune with God. In communion, God is real. In true communion, God is all. He is the supreme glory and joy of the Christian soul. In a minor way, in communion with God, we experience something akin to what Peter, James and John experienced when the true glory of Jesus, Jesus burst through his humanity with a radiance that struck the three apostles to the ground. It was glory beyond the description of words. Alas, all too few are the times when in communion we experience the amazing wonder of the glory of God. So the first reading today is called Always. There is a text here from Matthew 28, 18 to 20, and it says, All power and authority is given unto me. Lo, I am with you always, or always. Lord Jesus, will I ever fully realise what an amazing privilege it is that at any time, anywhere, by faith, I can become aware of you. To fully appreciate your presence, an immense amount depends on my capacity to absorb, I can think of no better word, absorb the reality of being before you and with you, who you are. And I so easily and too quickly turn away to something else. And yet this is how you have ordered life. You yourself lived as an ordinary human being. You did not spend all your time away, alone with your father, however wonderful those alone times with him were. But you were always aware of his presence. In the same way, I imagine a little child playing in the backyard, fully and seemingly only conscious of what he is doing, and yet always aware that mother is inside and he can go to her any time he wants. He may go to her for some trifling reason, or for no reason at all, or he may go because of some, for him, big need, which he cannot handle, but his mother can. Thus does it seem to be with me. I am not always, I may not always be conscious of your presence, Lord, but you are always with me, and I may go to you any time I choose. We can, can't we? I'll be bringing another one of these devotions soon. Thanks for, for watching and God bless you.